Hello and welcome to the Storage Commander Network. This is going to be a brief beginner tutorial on how to take a payment using Storage Commander software. One thing that I do want you to know is that there is a variety of ways to complete a payment using Storage Commander software. I want you to utilize whichever method that feels comfortable for you and continue using that throughout the program. The first method I'm going to show you today is using Storage Commander Sitemap. Simply hover above the unit that the customer would like to make a payment on, right click and select Payment. Another way to access the customer's payment screen is by using Storage Commander's Quick View. From here you can use the late or past due contracts and simply double click a contract to bring up the customer's details. From here you can select activities and select make a payment. Yet another way to access the payment screen is by using Storage Commander's Customers and Units tab. In this screen you can either select a rented unit on the left side and double click on a unit to make a payment or on the right side select a unit and go to activities and select make a payment. The final way to access the payment screen would be simply to go to make a payment in the upper left portion of your screen. From this screen you can simply select a current customer's contract and continue to payment options. In the payment options screen you can edit the details of the customer's transaction for instance, if you want to change the number of payments a customer would like to make, you can simply scroll up or down on the Payments tab and recalculate to see the new current transaction total. Once you have confirmed with the customer that the amount is correct, you can proceed to the Accept Payment tab. This is the final step of the payment process. From here, simply select your customer's preferred method of payment and input the amount given to you. For this example, I'm going to select Cash and say the customer gave me $260. Now with the remainder of $6.10, I can either apply this as prepaid to the customer's rent or simply give the change back to the customer. For this example, I'm going to give the change back and select finish to complete the process. Afterwards, it will give you the option to print and or email the customer's receipt to them. This will conclude our introduction on how to complete a basic payment using Storage Commander. For further instructional videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at www.storagecommander.com.